Okay, we continue select tab with subdivision selection. If you hold your mouse over this icon, the sub menu will be open. Click and drag from this part and you can make it separate. With this click, you can select all subdivision object. As you can see, those are subdivision objects. You can select them. The subdivision object tools are all in this tab that will be explained in detail. Here we have something called subdivision friendly curve. Any object, when you go into subdivision tool with this tool, you can convert it to subdivision. You can convert anything surface mesh to subdivision. Subdivision are like this. You can modeling like this as I said before. You can turn them to the, for example, this uh, to the sub subdivision set. For example, this surface is closed surface. You can uh, convert it to the subdivision. As you can see, select it. Uh, I will explain setting. Just right click to OK. Bring it here. As you can see, this surface convert to this subdivision surface. Okay. But as you can see, this is not exactly the original uh, object because they are not friendly curve what is friendly curve that you when you want to select them as you can see we are not any friendly curve in a scene look at this image <clears throat> this is as you can see this is uh, the black uh, or the black edge are the original uh, curve of the object and after we convert it to the subdivision as you can see the software make a new curve for that to <clears throat> convert it to subdivision because those curves those black curves are not friendly and they have to convert the friendly curve in the rhino has uh, between five or two seven conditions to call them friendly that will be explained you don't worry but know that when you want to when you have no friendly curve they have to be changed going to this image and select this this is friendly curve as you can see, when you convert to the subdivision, they are exactly at the same of the original curve. And the topology of object does not change. This is good. So, those are friendly curve. So, as you can see, when you convert this surface to this subdivision, the topology and the overall shape has been changed, as you can see. So, I will explain what is the friendly in... in subdivision or the curve lessons don't worry just know that what is subdivision friendly curve as before in a mesh here you can select <coughs> edge loop in a subdivision surfaces okay you can select edge loop in sub subdivision surfaces and when you don't right click or enter to select them or you can select edge ring for example this ring for example this ring or this ring when you don't right click or enter to select ring or you can select faces to select faces you have to click on your edges and right click to select the faces and you can change your model like this and our new tool here selection filter edge if you click on the selection filter will be pop up and just automatically curve on edge click and you can just click at edge as you can see you can just click at edge of any object those are uh, for R object in a rhino not a specific just for subdivision those are overall a common uh, tool for selecting all edge in all kind of object in Rhino. Okay, <clears throat> first select that and we can select. Okay, 
but not surface. Surface. You can select them surfaces. Okay. You can select a subdivision filter faces. You can simply click the faces. It's John. It is just one face as you can see. But you can select any face. Those are mesh, subdivision, surface, or any object that you want. And here, as you can see, these are, these are poly because they have several surfaces. This is one surface because this is a surface object. You can select point, as you can see, the point edge will be automatically select, and you select point of any kind of object, include mesh, surface, subdivision surface, poly surface, as you can see. And as you can see, the change, uh, all of settings will be changed to return back to original, click on a none, and everything back to normal. Interesting part is toggle. For example, as you can see, when we select a face here, we select a face, and <clears throat> when you toggle, it toggles between. Uh, as you can see, this face, this face, uh, create from three edge. If you toggle selection, it's going to the edge selection. If you toggle again, it's convert to the point as you can see those edge uh, create from those uh, points for example you select a line going to the selected line if you select a line when you toggle it convert to the two point that create that line okay that's it Okay, this is select subdivision tools that are useful then for going back, you have to go in here and select it not to return the sub uh, uh, selection filter back to the original settings. Okay. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.